Number 71, here we go. It's a Cat 5 Hurricane up on the high side of the racetrack. Henry Carter will take the lead down the back straightaway. Showers, Whitener married to the bottom side of the racetrack. Cameron Saunders rolling the middle. Oh, Saunders looking good. Fleischer in car number 18 behind Whitener. Here comes David Whitener in the Savage. Car number five, that's the black one on the racetrack. Right now, the Hurricane, Henry Carter, up around the Kite, Georgia area. Man, nice to have Henry here. He was our fast qualifier for our 26th running of the Powell Family Memorial last October. Henry set quick time, was completely surprised by it. Here he is tonight working the top side of the racetrack masterfully in that very right icon. So Carter, Sanders, actually Saunders, excuse me. Cameron Saunders opens up that lane for Whitener. Saunders with the run, he keeps the spot. Whitener nice and smooth, working gently through the field, puts the moves on Saunders. Saunders gonna answer back. He'll drive it down into turns number three and four. Racing with one of the best has got to be a highlight here tonight. Saunders falls back to third. Whitener now up to second. So Mark Whitener right now with the H&R performance. Whitener's grading, car number five. Barry Wright icon, two icons on the track right now, one and two. Look at Whitener, pushes up a little bit. Henry Carter, pretty smooth up there, keeping his car straight. Mark's car really tight, that's how he likes it. Working good down low, Henry Carter right there. Carter, Whitener, side by side. Right now, seven laps come working. That'll be coming to lap number eight this time by Whitener. Going to put the slide job on Carter. Carter's going to try to answer back. Side by side in the flag stand. Henry Carter, Mark Whitener. Racing good here at All Tech Raceway tonight. Whitener up on the high side. Carter's not wanting to give it up. Whitener takes it out front. The Whitener's grading car number 05. They call it the money maker. Right now, we'll keep an eye on some different battles on the racetrack right now. So Nevin Ganey, fifth, Showers, fourth, Cameron Saunders, third, Fleischer. Bo Allen not really having the run he was hoping for here tonight, kind of strung out the field is here tonight, working lap number 10 of this 20 lap main event. We are halfway home here tonight. Whitener with a sizable advantage. We've seen it happen here before. He can be his own worst enemy at All Tech Raceway. Whitener with a great car, Henry Carter, Cameron Saunders having a stellar run here tonight. David Showers, fourth position. Nevin Ganey working the high side as well, trying to run down showers. Markham's going to pull the 515 down pit road. Here comes Ganey. He's working that high side. Showers drifts up just a little bit. Ganey had to kind of ease out of the gas, but not too much. Got to keep the momentum going here with the dirt late model division at Alltech Raceway. Meanwhile, up front, it's still all Mark Whitener, Henry Carter, Cameron Saunders. One, two, and three. Here comes Ganey on the high side. He gets by Showers in the 118.
Whitener with a three and a half second advantage over Henry Carter. You can see Whitener, he's got the white car, the blue lettering with the orange helmet on the inside, just kind of smooth around Alltech Raceway. Drifts up right to the high side, really driving the car hard through the corners. I don't think he knows he's got a three and a half second. Oh, actually, he's got a 4.7 second lead right now. So Mark Whitener, the class of the field here tonight. Meanwhile, Henry Carter second, Cameron Saunders, Nevin Ganey up the fourth, Showers, Mark Fleischer, David Whitener, Bo Allen, actually not Bo Allen, it's Ivan and Lloyd, and Markham on pit road. Clicking away the laps, we got through the evil lap number 14 here tonight with no problem with the Crate Racing USA Dirt Late Model Division, Whitener out front. So Whitener, 5.7 seconds that time by. Whitener trying to get to the back of the field, maybe wants to put some cars a lap down, not sure. Well, Mark is just heavy on the gas, wide open. He knows only one way to run. Right now, he's turning laps around the Alltech Raceway, a 20. 0.518 for Whitener, a 20.518 the last lap. We'll see what this one is. This one, a 21-0, a 21-0 right now. Ganey working up there with Henry Carter. So Nevin Ganey now with a really good car to the bottom side. He puts the moves on Carter. He'll take second position. The Ganey would like to see a caution, but it's not going to happen. We got five to go here tonight. I think these cars are pretty much strung out. Don't think we'll see any cautions in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Ganey would love to see one. He'd love to get his mitts on that car number five. Ganey is our current points leader. He's up to second position right now. His lap times are comparable with Mark Weidner. Ganey, that time faster than Mark Whitener. He just needs a caution flag. Whitener, 6.4 seconds out in front of Nevin Ganey. Ganey not giving up. Car number 17, the Ferry Motorsports Horton's Garage entry found himself in victory lane here. Mr. Horton was here to have a great celebration down there just a few weeks ago. And ladies and gentlemen, Whitener leads him still here tonight. So Ganey is closing the gap. It went from 6.8 to 5.9. White flag in the air for Mark Whitener, and he can pretty much coast it home from here. Good night of racing here at Alltech Raceway, 11:18. A really fast and furious three hours of racing here tonight, and man, oh, Cameron Saunders riding the wall. All right, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, down in victory lane with your winner, Mark Whitener. Mark, at one point here tonight, you had like a 6.5 second lead on the field. This car is pretty much flawless. It's been a little while since you've been in this race car. Does it feel like being home again or what? Yeah, I mean, we, you, listen, I, if I bring a race car to the racetrack, I'm, I'm, I feel like I should be capable of winning the race. So, um, yeah, we, we was, we was, uh, we was good, but I mean, I've, I've been around this place a long, a, a while. So I got a lot of laps around it and I kind of knew what to do. Um, I just, uh. I got in the bottom and I thought, I thought I could gain some traction down there, but I, could, I really couldn't. I just lost it. So I had to get up, clean my tires off, and then I got going. But uh, yeah, man, this thing is uh, this awesome. Uh, Chris at Ocala Restaurant Supply, he's here. Appreciate him. Um, everybody that helps me on this race car, my brother, he does a lot. So um, he's. I tried to help him. He's struggling. I, I could see him there. I, I was coming up behind him, but uh, I don't know. Um, 
he's not the greatest in this kind of condition, so we just need to keep coming over here, and this big race is coming, so we just need to keep coming. And I got 25,000 and 50,000 in a couple weeks here in the Super, and uh, I needed to be here and get some laps around this place and um, see what we can come up with this track. So it's 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 great. It's awesome. I mean, it's slow, slick. You know, you just have to drive it straight and, and keep the keep the car up under you the whole time. So uh, just like to thank everybody that helps me on this thing and Bridget, Mike, Biggins, uh, Bob. He didn't come this weekend. He took off, but he worked on it and got it ready for me to come. So uh, just like to thank everybody that helps me on this thing. Man, you mentioned the XR Super Series coming here April 22nd and 23rd. You had a good run at Bristol up there. When you guys roll into here for the big money, are you favorite? Are you a favorite coming in here in your own mind? And can you get it done? I mean, this is your home track, and Lucas Oil. Those guys have rolled in here. You've had good runs, and you haven't really you haven't really showed how good you are here. Can you get it done with the XR Super Series? Well, hell yeah, I can get it done. I just got to get on the wheel. So I just got to get. I got you know. I, I got to get in in. I, I need to race that car more. That's what I've been doing, trying to race that car some more, and. Um, it ain't that I gotta learn how to race. I just gotta learn what to do. I mean, them guys just know, like, like, like when I come here with the crate car, and um, I kind of knew what to do. You know what I mean? And I don't second guess myself. It's, it's. Um, I just, I know what to do. I know, I know what I gotta do. If I'd have drove that that other car, I knew what to do. My brother probably would have beat me with this one, but it's. I just know what to do. So I think that is a little. I got a lot of laps around here, more than most of the super guys that's going to be coming. Um, but you can't count them guys out. They're just good at what they do. So. Um, we'll we'll see. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, but I, I hope all these fans come and support me. You know what I mean? We got shirts back there to, at the truck, and um, I just hope they come support me. To, that's how we get up and down the road. So, There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Whitener in for the win here tonight.